today I'm going to defeat this compost pile once and for all. My dad is going to be in the area tomorrow, in the neighborhood, with his tractor. So he's going to come stir the pile for me. And I just wanted to make sure that all of the squash was out of there so that I wasn't replanting seeds for next year because I learned my lesson. Number two, um, there's a ton of horse metal in this crap, literally in this crap. Um, that was in the cow pasture that this, this stuff came from and a lot of it had parts on it that looks like it's going to seed and there's still some but I'm just, I've cut off a bunch of it that looks like it's got the seeds on it and um, yeah this is all just going to get mixed in tomorrow. <laughs> squash right on the back of where these tomatoes were and I've already got one in the ground this one got a little bit long in the neck so I'm gonna plant it just a little bit deeper this last one got a little bit long but it's not too bad I do still have some squash bugs, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about that yet. But I'm hoping that they'll kind of spill over here into the lawn rather than trying to stay in the bed. to also take a scoop of the good stuff on top and drop it in this bed for me. This is probably like four wheelbarrow loads. Um, so I'm gonna spread this.
after I've put this fresh dirt on top of them because I know it's going to make things grow like crazy. And I'm also hoping though that it will smother out all the grass and stuff that was growing beneath it, or at least some of it. And then I can just do some cardboard and prune it a little bit and just maintain it. overcrowding plants in these beds because obviously you have a limited amount of space. You really just have to give them their space. You're either going to have a bunch of underdeveloped plants with crappy fruits and vegetables coming off of them or you can plant them as they're supposed to be and do pretty darn well.